Welcome to ABA Creator with Email Remittance Advice. If you open up the Creator file, that will then open up the above spreadsheet, um, enter description, period, the date, enter, well, you can always reset the data input, enter or copy and paste your data into the template, the direct entry import. Update reports. This will produce a payment report, which gives a summary of paid by company. So you might have multiple payments in that one company. So you can easily print that report for your records. Then you have an invoice report, which can have, once, as I said, invoice numbers for one company, but it gives a list of all invoices that have been paid and suggests to print that report as well. Then you get to the data page and you need to, only manual entry you've got to do is to make sure it matches up. See the table resize error and the amounts don't balance. So you've got to drag this down so it's perfect. It'll show up in green nice and good to make sure we've got the right records selected. Once we're happy there, then we go to the ABA tab. This is where you create the ABA file. And if you click on that create ABA file or the button, it's going to create a file in the same directory or in the documents folder. So let's click create ABA. Takes a couple of seconds, runs a macro. Now this file that appears here is just showing you what's been done. You can close that but you can see the ABA file is being generated. If we open that up, it'll open up the ABA file, just drag it in here. Yep, that's what you're gonna be uploading to the bank. So we'll give that a close. So that's the ABA file created. Now we wanna do the remittance advices. I'll do this after I've uploaded it to the bank to make sure it's gone. So give it an update and then create email remittance advices. What that's going to do is it's going to stick the emails that it generates into your drafts in Outlook. And it will also create a copy of the PDF files, which are the attachments of the remittance advices. So let's click on create emails and remittance advices. Produce email and PDF. And you'll see it's generated the drafts and it's also generated the remittance advices as well. So click OK and open up, say, one of the draft emails. And you'll see it's got um, who it's to. It's carbon copied to yourself if you want that. Um, bit of a blurb in there. Then you click on the attachment, which is the email remittance advice, the same as what's down there. Open that one up, and there we have it, email remittance advice. So if you're happy with that, you can click on send. And if I grab all the ones that are there for the batch, this batch has four in there. There they all there, ready to be sent. Um, if you're happy with them all, just click on send, send, send. And that's pretty much it. I suggest saving the file as a, um, a new file every month. Sorry, every, every time you make a payment so that you've got a record of what has been sent, but you've also printed your reports. Thank you for using ABA Creator.